Hello, and welcome to ION's Video Tutorials, or AVT for short. This will be a series of tutorials to help better your skills with making videos. Today we will go over the basics of Adobe Premiere. So let's get started. I know I already kind of went over the basics, but there were a few things that I kind of forgot and I would like to go over because I actually learned some things while developing the first video that you watched. Now, notice I have two sequences now. I had an issue in the first video where, here, I'll bring it up, I will show you. So I'm going to mute it, but halfway through here, see how the, basically, watch, watch, just right around here, when I go to make the new folder, it loses quality and it just looks like complete crap okay I figured out what the problem was when I did this project in sequence one I didn't click to change to the proper sequence remember when I showed you uh, for example I'll make a new sequence right now alright so I took the file and I put it on here and it asked to change sequence I chose not to and I remember I said that doesn't bother anything well in this case it did because when I went to change sequence it didn't lose any of its quality which I thought was like whoa I didn't know this you learn something new every day the more you mess around and make videos you learn all sorts of stuff so what I did to fix the problem was I selected everything on the timeline which I might have to did I get everything on the timeline Hoping I did. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I selected everything on the timeline in the sequence one. And then I brought it over to the new sequence. Alright? Now before I brought it over, I did what I did right here. I dropped the file on here and and it asked me, do you want to change to the proper sequence? And I clicked change to the proper sequence. I then went over here, selected everything, came back over here, copied and paste. And then I exported it and it fixed the problem. I will I will show you. Okay, uh, it's right around here. See, like this part where I named the file, it's all it looks a lot more high def. So, just something to that you should take into account when you first start a project. And even if you start a project and you experience something, it's not too late to fix it. Moving on, uh, another thing I forgot to talk about was the effects panel. Now you got audio transitions, video transitions, and then audio and video effects. Uh, this is where you can basically add all sorts of different stuff, and I'm going to be going over a lot of different stuff in here specifically. For example, there is a way to add a time code, so you got like a little timer at the bottom and then how to make it stop at a specific time yada 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 very important stuff another example of a future video I'll be doing is how to censor people's faces It's very very important to know this because if you get anyone in your video who doesn't want to be in your video and you didn't get their permission technically they can sue you and I highly doubt anyone wants to get sued I mean not, just no they don't don't want that to happen now when you're in the timeline, you got all your different videos and photos and audio. If you click them and then come up to your source window, see this is the source, and hit F and go to effect controls, this gives you all the options for this video. Now if you watch over in the preview screen, you'll notice changes that I make. Like see, it's moving the video left and right, up and down. This is the position and then you can scale it bigger, smaller, rotate the video, and I mean, there's all sorts of different stuff. And when you add an effect, for example, let's see what should we add. A uh, blur. We'll just add a Gaussian blur, for example. It'll be added up into the effect controls, and then you can edit it. And see, now it's something you can edit in the video. I didn't really go over the tools in the previous video, mainly because I only use two main tools. And that is the razor tool and then the selection tool. And the shortcuts for these are right next to each other. V 
is for your selection tool and C is for your razor. So it's real easy to press V, move stuff, and then C to cut it and move some more stuff. See what I'm doing there? In the previous video, I talked about the yellow bar that appeared up here. It's, it's actually green on, on this side, but I'm going to explain that. It's, it's basically the rendering process. Uh, when it's not rendered, you want to press enter when it's red. Because I moved all the clips over here into a new sequence, the computer doesn't have the files all organized. Remember that explanation I gave everyone? And I didn't really show what the rendering process looks like. Uh, and it kind of slows my computer down, so hopefully the recording device that I have going on still works after this. But you just hit enter. That's all it takes. And then it shows the process right here. You can't edit anything while it's doing this. And it, you just got to let this thing finish. So this is a good time to, you know, take a break. Go to the bathroom. Go get some food. Hitting cancel really doesn't do anything. It just stops it. Uh, see, we rendered the first clip. That's, that's what we were able to render in that short amount of time. So that first clip will play perfectly fine. And then once it gets to the other stuff, it'll start to lag a little bit usually. Especially when you get into the 1080p stuff or HD television. And that pretty much sums up the extra stuff that I thought of that I thought you should know. The future tutorials will be on specific subjects. And by that I mean it'll have one main focus or thing to teach you. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys later. I provided links in the description to my Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter if you guys are interested. I also have two other YouTube channels, the first being IonJC, where I make MapleStory tutorials and guides, so if you play the game MapleStory, that might be something you're interested in. The next one is Ion's Gaming Channel, and that's where I basically make videos about games, reviews, unboxings, whatever. And if you click the AVT up in the top right corner, that'll take you to the previous tutorial that I have made. And finally, if you're interested in a partnership, make sure to check out Voltra. That's the icon in the bottom right corner of the screen.